Meantime, a major rare earths discovery may shift the balance in the U.S.-China trade war and potentially help the U.S. close the gap in the mining of these sorts of highly uh, sought-after minerals used by the tech industry. Coal producer Ramico Resources made the surprise find at its Sheridan, Wyoming mine earlier this year and is now in the process of testing what some say could be a $37 billion treasure. Here with more on what the production timeline looks like is Randall Atkins, chairman and CEO of Ramico. Randall, such a pleasure to have you here today. Welcome. Great to see you, Kelly. Another Blue Ridge girl. Yeah, that's right. Where are you from? Uh, Kentucky. I uh, okay. went to WNL. Oh, you did? I didn't yeah. I didn't even know. Well, it's it's great to check <laughs> in with you. We'll we'll talk uh talk some strategy another time. So let me just kind of back up for a second with this kind of modern day Beverly Hillbillies tale, albeit that this property was owned by by a Wall Streeter in the first place. How was this discovery made again? Well, it's sort of an, a 10-year a overnight uh, sensation. We started uh, really in 2011 with a uh, thermal coal mine. It took us about a year or two to discover that was not going to be the highest and best use of the property. So since that time, we've actually been working with the federal government on developing a whole number of alternative higher value uses for coal. Uh, I, I like to teasingly say fate loves irony. Uh, and that's the sense that coal might be a solution to a number of problems, including, obviously, the rare earth situation in the United States. So is that a coincidence or is it a characteristic of coal that it might contain these deposits? It's 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 a bit unique. I mean, rare earths are formed, I now understand, in a variety of ways. But it certainly can be found in what they call unconventional minerals, uh, which are like coal, clays, carbonaceous materials. Indeed, in China, a lot of the rare earths are found in, in clays. So uh, we are sort of in a lucky spot in uh, northern Wyoming where there was a lot of volcanic activity millions of years ago, which led to the uh, formation of these. Does that mean there are potentially more such discoveries to find? I think it's probably logical to conclude that there would be. Uh, I don't think that there uh, spread evenly across the United States, but I do think in some areas that had a lot of the uh, type of uh, formation characteristics like Wyoming, that that might be the case. So, Randall, tell us, take us back a little bit. As I mentioned, you're a former Wall Street banker. You buy this property in Wyoming. What was your intent with the, it? Was, it was, you bought it sight unseen, is my understanding. What attracted you to the property at the time? Well, it was a, uh, a rather large reserve, extremely reasonably priced, and we thought we might make a go of it just as a uh, thermal coal proposition. But, you know, the world changed rather quickly about 10 years ago, and the idea of deploying capital towards a uh, thermal mine became very unattractive. So our approach was basically, what else can we do with this stuff? <laughs> and uh, so that led us to, uh, as I say, a 10-year odyssey of discovering a variety of other alternative uses of coal. And uh, to those who might be more interested in the subject, there was a white paper that I chaired to uh, Secretary of Energy Perry about four years ago from the National Coal Council called Coal in the New Carbon Age. And it outlines a number of these alternative uses. It's fascinating. Including and, and it's hugely consequential, as we mentioned, you know, this kind of trove could potentially be, what did I read, a hundred some years supply of what we're currently using, although it's going to be incredibly expensive to extract. And China currently has all the refining. So do you think we'll be able to refine it here? How, how important is that? Or is just having the supplies, even if China refines them, something that could aid our national security? Kelly, that's a great point. And I think the interesting thing is, so these are found in what we call unconventional deposits or unconventional reserves. They're unconventional because most rare earths are found in hard minerals like uranium and mosinite and bosonite. These are things that have to be crunched, crashed, made into powders, and then really refined with very uh, caustic acids, which is why most of these are sent to the Chinese to refine. In unconventional deposits like coal and clays, which are much softer, you can essentially extract and process these, we hope, much more um, benignly. Uh, it's certainly going to be less expensive to get out coal than it would be hard minerals, and it would also be simpler and much more environmentally friendly to refine them uh, by using much milder solvents That's and other techniques.